Let's have a look at change of subject questions, but in particular change of subject questions which make use of the work we've just seen on common factors. Let me show you some examples. Number one, let's say I give you a formula. T equals three lots of x plus two plus a lots of x plus three. At the moment this is a formula with T as the subject. What I'd like to do in this particular question is to rearrange the algebra to make x the subject of the formula. Okay, so x you can see is there and x you can see is there. So on the right hand side x appears twice. So what we've got to do is the following. You can see a bracket there and a bracket there. We're going to expand out the brackets. t equals 3 times x is 3x plus 3 times 2 is 6. Be careful with this next bracket. Plus a times x is plus ax. And then plus a multiplied by the plus 3 is plus 3a. So that's the brackets expanded out. And now what we're going to do is collect, because we need x, we're going to collect the x's together on the right hand side. 3x plus ax, they stay where they are. And the plus 6 goes to the other side. So we end up with t minus 6, because the plus 6 becomes a minus, and the plus 3a is also dragged to the other side, so it becomes minus 3a. So you can see now I've got the x's on the right hand side. So I'll leave the t minus 6 minus 3a where it is on the left, equals, and on the right hand side we need to add together these two x terms. Now in the past when we've done this type of question with common factor, what we've done is we've said this, we said we've got three x's and we've got a x's. So in total, we've got three plus a x's. There's nothing wrong with that logic, but I think most people find using common factors is a far easier approach to adopt. We look at these two terms and we say, look at the x there, look at the x there. The x is what we call a common factor. The x can be taken out as a common factor x times 3 would give 3x plus, and then x times a would give you ax. So x times 3 is 3x, x times a is ax. So that is the same as that. Why is this useful? It's useful because now there's only one x on the right hand side, not two. And that means I can leave the x where it is, and I can take that bracket to the other side, it's x times the bracket on the other side. It's going to be t minus 6 minus 3a in a bracket divided by the 3 plus a. Because if you take the 3 plus a to the other side, it becomes a divide. And you're just left with the x. Notice what I said to you in the past. We've done this sort of 3x plus ax. We've got 3 plus a x's. Well, that's exactly what we've got there. 3 plus a x's. So you get the same answer whether you use the technique we did in the past or we use the common factor technique. OK, that's the end of this little example to show you the very basic type of change of subject using common factor.